So good morning all, hope everyone is well. It is about 10 o'clock Tuesday morning. I'm just a quick video now reacting to the news that was announced on Sky Sports last night that Eddie Howe has officially, officially now become the new head coach of Newcastle United. The new manager is here. Obviously I did a video last week when the news first broke that they'd agreed um, in principle a two and a, two and a half year deal. Um, and then it was just finer details um, I've not done a video since because there's been all sorts of absolute nonsense um, in the media saying that um, the deal is off, Eddie Howe's walked, it's not happened, blah de blah, blah right up until about an hour um, before the club announced the permanent signing of Eddie Howe and his subsequent um, press release, if you like. I think he's saying all the right things. Um, I'm happy about this, like I said in my other video, I've said numerous times on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. I'm extremely happy to see Eddie Howe in as the manager. The only downside is this could have been done so long ago. Um, Mike Ashley could have sacked Steve Bruce and brought in Eddie Howe. I think the fact that Eddie Howe was the man um, lined up to take over from Steve Bruce, should that have happened by Mike Ashley, is irrelevant. Um, I think the fact that just because someone who has got good intentions for the club and someone who doesn't have any intentions for the club. Um, so at a point towards the same person, I don't think that bears any relevance. Um, it's the fact that he was an easy option, technically, because he's available. Um, Unai Emery, I'll see a bit of a shame, you know, I'll see a, a, a European um, success as a manager, four times, uh, four time Europa League winner, sorry. He's managed Sevilla, he's managed Villarreal, he's managed Valencia, um, he's managed Arsenal, so he's got Premier League experience. I know that didn't end very well, but he's got experience in the league. Um, I always remember the Valencia teams when I was sort of at school. Watch, I used to watch Real Madrid quite a lot on the Sky Sports. And uh, yeah, the Valencia team, his Valencia teams were always very, very good. Ava Bonega, David Villa, David Silva, Juan Mata, uh, etc. You know, some, some quality, quality players. Um, so it was a shame to see him back out and ultimately bottle it because everything was agreed. Um, and imagine he saw his team play in, champ in the Champions League, won that game and thought, actually, I'm going to stay in my comfort zone. I don't want to piss off the Villarreal fans. So a bit of a shame, but you can understand why. However, Eddie Howe, I think, brings a crucial enthusiasm, work ethic and work rate to the team. Um, everything Steve Bruce didn't. Uh, he's not going to make a, an idiot of himself in the media. He's not going to make strange decisions. He's going to try and revolutionise this team and try and bring us into the 21st century of the way we play football. He's going to... Obviously, there's going to be teething problems. Of course, there will. You know, I imagine we're going to go to a flat back four at some point. Whether that will be straight away at the Brentford game remains to be seen. But, yeah, it's a crucial two weeks to work with the players. Um everyone barks on about oh he got relegated in his last job relegated 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 okay that's fine margins um, Aston Villa was saved by VAR against Sheffield United if that goal stood they would have gone down and Brent, uh, Bournemouth, Bournemouth wouldn't Bournemouth had a plethora of injuries throughout that season I'm going to focus on the five years he kept Bournemouth in the Premier League with limited resources. Okay, they spunked a lot of money on the likes of Dominic Solanke and Jordan Ive, money that ultimately did not get paid back in, in player performance. However, five years with such a small stadium, not I'm not trying to discredit Bournemouth Football Club or their fans, but with a small stadium, not a lot of money, with some players that have been there through League One and the Championship, and they've stayed in the Premier League for five years. Um, talking about League One and the Championship, if the worst does happen and we do go down, I'm hoping that the uh, sack clause is not in there because Eddie Howe will be the man to bring us back up. But it remains to be seen. How will we perform? This is the perfect time. I would have preferred if he was brought in one of the, of the, one of the last international breaks or as soon as we were um, taken over. But he's here now. He's got time. Reports this morning is that he's been at the training ground since 6.45. I have no doubt that some of the senior players will support him and drag the others up to standard. But 
going off the previous international breaks where the players have had five, six, seven days off, this is going to be a hell of a shock. And I expect to see them grafting and hear about them grafting and buying into his, his uh, tactics, his system, his style of play, and ultimately how he wants to run the club. Eddie Howe's a young manager. He's experienced despite his years. He's a tactician, but what I love about him the most is his um, enthusiasm. His enthusiasm to work. He wants to get on and he doesn't seem to be un under any illusions. He said yesterday that he's uh, looking forward to getting on the trainer and ground with the players. He's excited by the opportunity to manage such a big club, ultimately the biggest challenge of his career. If getting Bournemouth from the lower leagues into the Premiership was a fantastic achievement, but keeping this Newcastle United boat afloat now would be the great success of his career. He said he was looking forward to the, excited by the opportunity, honoured by the opportunity, but aware that there's a lot of work to do. As he was at the Annex on Saturday night, he would have seen um, that dismal first half. And I imagine at, at half time, he would have been sat there thinking, oh my word, I have a lot of work to do. But everything I've heard about Eddie Howe tells me that he will not shy away from the challenge. You'd be looking forward to it thinking, do you know what? On one hand, let's get this team. I see potential, it's going to be hard graft, but it's going to be worth it. And to see the fans react to him as he goes on and succeeds will be amazing. But on the other hand, he'll be thinking, well, his reputation will increase tenfold if he keeps us in the league and then pushes on again. So hopefully, well, like I said now, Tuesday morning, he'll be on the training ground now with, with the players, with the team and starting to wipe away the dust of Steve Bruce, of Clements, of Agnew. I don't know what's going on with Graham Jones yet. I'll do another video on that perhaps further down the line. But wipe away the dust of the old regime and bring a more fresh approach. Obviously, players, some of the players know him well. I'm looking at Matt Ritchie, Callum Wilson, Ryan Fraser. Now, Ryan Fraser is going to be an interesting one because he had, his, without doubt, his best years. Um, under Eddie Howe at Bournemouth, he's not lived up to his, his potential or ability at all at Newcastle and we're in his second season. The interesting thing will be to see whether Eddie Howe trusts him because obviously Ryan Fraser threw him under the bus, let him down and didn't even get out of his bloody get out of bed for him in the last few months at Bournemouth. So if Eddie Howe feels the need to get rid of him in January because he can't trust that player, I would not dis necessarily disagree with that approach. However, it'd be interesting to see whether he gives it on a clean slate. Eddie Howe was one of my uh, my picks, has been one of my picks for some time. I'm glad it's done finally. I'm glad he realises the scale of the job ahead, the task ahead. Um, I haven't heard any news whether there'll be a change of captain. That might be the case. Um, Jamal LaSalle's on form. Um, it cannot be um, his first name on the team sheet. I, I'm, I'm sure of that. So you look at the other captains, Matt Ritchie, John Gishelvi, Frederica Fernandez. It'll be interesting to see. But yeah, good luck to um, Eddie Howe. I received my uh, black and white membership pack yesterday. I finally signed up to be a member. So hopefully I'll be able to get to St. James's Park before the end of the year. Possibly not. I may be looking at Southampton away on New Year's Day, but we shall see. And we're all behind you, Eddie. Honestly, good luck. Well done. Thank you for taking this challenge on. Um, you've got a decent set of players there. Some need to come in, some need to go out. However, all the fans will be behind you. Up the tune. Can't wait for the Brentford game. Come on.